So if you've installed a plugin or two for Redmine and decided it wasn't for you and want to uninstall the plugin now, you could just remove the plugin files, but that's going to leave around the plugin's database and it might cause conflicts later on. I'm going to show you how to remove a database change that a plugin makes using its migrations. You might remember running a rake task when you installed the plugin to set up the database tables. It was probably the same as this one, but the plural form, like DB migrate plugins. We can use a singular version to uninstall the plugin migrations. By adding the name parameter to the end of the command, we're going to tell Rake which plugin we're actually talking about. In this case, it's the Redmine Contracts plugin. But this still won't uninstall a plugin. It's only going to upgrade its database. In other words, it's going to migrate the plugin to the latest version. To remove a plugin, we need to add a version 0 to the command. This basically says, change Redmine Contracts database version to 0. This will run all the database migrations in reverse until all of them are reset. For obvious reasons, running this command will delete your data, but that's what you wanted, right? Now you should know how to uninstall any of the database changes a Redmine plugin makes. At this point, you can safely remove the plugin's code and the uninstallation will be complete. That wraps up this screencast. This video is just one video in my Redmine series. If you go to theadmin.org forward slash videos, then I'll send you the entire series for free. Thanks again for watching.